Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today is March 9th and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the Disney College program. So I was accepted into the Disney College program a few weeks ago. Um, it was sometime in early February I think. Um, but I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my um, experience like getting in and everything. So if you guys have any um, questions or have any like problems, like hopefully like I can answer some questions for you. But I'm just going to kind of talk about my experience on applying and getting in. Um, so I did the online application, uh, which took a little bit of time. Um, definitely give yourself time to make sure you can read all the questions clearly. Uh, I think I even actually like skipped a question uh, on accident. Um, but I still moved on. And after the application, I did a web-based interview. So um, the web-based interview basically... Um, well, let me back up. The application um, tries to get to know a little bit about you, like past work experiences, and then um, like what roles you want, uh, like that you're interested in for the college program. Um, and there's like a whole rating system for that. And then after you submit that, I think if they like you after that point, then they offer you a web-based interview. And the web-based interview, um, they try to get uh, to know you a little bit better. Um, like how you would handle like some situations. Um, I don't remember all that was on it because honestly it was, it was almost a month ago. Um, but then after the web-based interview, um, they might offer you a phone interview and, um, it took me quite a while to get an email for my phone interview. Um, and then it took me about like a week and a half for them to offer me a phone interview and then I had to schedule it. So, um, it, it was almost three weeks between when I was done with like the applications and everything to when I had my phone interview and the phone interviews are typically between 15 and 20 minutes. Um, my phone interview actually went a little bit over time. Um, but that was okay because we were, uh, she, my interviewer asked me so many different questions, um, about like, we talked a little bit about like all the roles that I was interested in because, um, in my application, I put that I wanted, like, that I was, that I was very interested in a lot of different roles, um, because I, I could just see myself doing so many different roles, and, um, there were a few that I didn't want to do, so I did mark that I did not want to do them, um, and I still got in for marking that I didn't want to do some, so just because you say you don't want to do a role does not mean that you will not get in, um, but yeah, she asked me, we talked about a bunch of different, all the different roles, like what they, uh, what you have to do in the roles. And then, um, she gave me a few scenarios about like what, uh, I could potentially be doing. Um, like one was about like merchandise and like if someone accidentally dropped like a drink or whatever, and I was talking to a family, what I would do, um, or like different like safety things. I honestly, it, it's been about two weeks since, uh, my phone interview. So I don't remember everything that she asked me. Um, and then she, uh, asked if I had any questions for her. Uh, I did remember asking her like, what was some like magical moments that you had with the company? Um, and just, yeah, I think that was the only one I asked her, but then, um, it was about a week until I heard anything again, and I was offered a role for attractions. So I will be doing attractions for fall 2020. Um, I'm not sure which attraction I'll be doing. Um, there's so many different things that I could be doing. I could be in a parking lot. I could be at a ride. I could be at a show. Like, there's so many different things that I could be doing. I could be at any of the four parks, any of the water parks. Like, I seriously have no idea what I'm going to be doing down there. But I am so excited. I'm hoping that I can record this for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, I can do my best to answer them. Um, but honestly, I'm just so excited. Like, I don't cry that often, but I almost started crying because I was so happy. My mom started crying because... <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want me to leave. I am the oldest in my family, so I'm like the first one to leave the nest. 
but I am super excited. I've had this dream to move to Florida forever. So just the fact that it's finally coming true, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm becoming an adult now, which is like scary, but also not scary because I'll be like protected in like the Disney bubble. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm starting to get things together to go and all my friends are so happy for me. So thank you to all my friends and family who are really supportive um, like I said, I will be doing fall 2020. So I get down there in August and then I leave in January. So I'll be gone for like five ish months, I think. Um, but if you want to come along with me on this journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. I'm going to have so much fun. I'm so excited for this and let's see where this adventure takes us. So until the next time on this adventure. Bye.